everyone, Amy here. Today is my novel update for the uh, month of January the 7th. I guess the month is in the 7th. January 7th, yay! So this is where I talk about what happened in my novel for like the past two weeks. How's my editing going? Editing been going? And all kinds of crazy stuff. As you remember from last time, I was editing my Nana Remember draft. I ranked all the chapters from the worst to the best. I'm slowly working my way down the list from worst to the best. Before I discovered that the worst chapters were very bad, I kind of backlogged. I did. There was like a week in there where I was five chapters behind. I have no idea how I got five chapters behind because every single day, okay, maybe two days. Two days I didn't write because I was just like blah. But basically every day I was writing, it was just that I'm splitting the chapter up into two for a lot of them, so when you split the chapters up into two, it's like you're writing two chapters, but you're like, no, I still have one day to do it, so um, right now I am on track though, though I admit some of the past ones where I was doing, um, let's see, like can you see these days I kind of combined them into different dates themselves and decided to do like two each day and then uh, some days I did three and I admit those weren't quite good and there's one chapter chapter 26 where I like couldn't find the scene in the sequel for like my characters are just talking about the going festival and what it is and I'm looking in my scene sequence binder and that scene and sequence doesn't exist like I have 25 and I have 27 but there's no chapter 26 scene and sequel so that's probably why it's horrible because it does not exist. That's sort of things I've learned during this. I learned Oh my. I learned that my characters talk on the phone too much, so I have to like say, no, you're not going to talk to that person on the phone, let's bring the person in there. And I don't know if that's because my my last book that I was reading, the person talked on the phone because they lived many miles away, and that was kind of the theme, like he isolated himself, so the only form of communication he had with the outside world was his phone. So. I don't know if it's kind of like a lingering from that or if I'm really just not doing what I do feel like I'm understanding my characters and I can characterize them and write them extremely well. My main characters, I think my side characters still need a bit more work, but that's what I'm doing on my third draft. I guess this is the second. I've been researching a good tip that I got from Tex. I can't remember her last name, I'm sorry, we went to Warriors, like she she ran a writer's workshop and she is part of the DFW writers um, group there and she mostly does like cowboy sci-fi, which is like that genre exists but it does. Good class on how to write dialect well. I suggest watching programs that were for that people, so I've been watching a lot of Yakuza movies though. Though I'm watching the Mike Yakuza movies and he's kind of extreme in general. I watch what did I watch? I watched The Crow, which isn't really about Yakuza, it's about some Yankees. Um, those are like delinquents, like juvenile delinquents, they call them Yankees. Tip dialogue <laughs> right there. Um, go, Goju. Um, I'm reading, I'm reading like, I'm watching like Dead. Dance or Die, Dead or Die, oh my, I can't remember these titles, and Ko Raku, I think, and then I watched a few of them before I started, but now I'm like, oh my, my Yakuza, they're kind of tame compared, but then I'm like, well, it's okay, because it's Mike and, and he's extreme, so my Yakuza probably balance out, because there's moments where my main character gets very, um, psycho, and the non-cool way. <laughs> Um, what else has been happening with this? Oh my, I've been getting, like, losing track of time, like, in the story, because I'm bouncing around from the different chapters, so sometimes the... I think I already wrote something, like, didn't I write this already? And I didn't, or I might have been... I feel like the tone of my characters, I have to change it from, you know, one day to the next, because, you know, over here it's chapter seven, and my character is really happy, but oh, the next day I'm writing chapter 32 and he is all glazed over because his brother died or something, so I have trouble with that. The next process in this, I'm going to actually edit in order, so I think that will clear that up. I'm also cutting like four chapters and a half, so there are now 44 chapters in my story. 
And I changed my calendar around, but that's kind of more of what I'm going to talk about next time. Um, I finished reading a book, which has nothing to do with writing, but I might tell you guys I finished uh, Empire of the Sun. It was okay, and I got some more. Do you want to see the books? Like, that's the way I'm, the sun's failing on me. It's because I'm home later, and, and it's like, yes. So I got Aristotle and Dante to discover the secrets of the universe. Ah, I... It seems interesting enough, so I figured I'd pick it up. Then I got The Never Ending Story, which is a classic, which I never read. Or I liked the movie when I was little, so I'm like, I'm gonna read it, yay! And then, what did I get? All You Need Is Kill, which seems really fun, and his name is Hiroshi Sakurazaka. I mean, like, come on, cool name. And, um, I thought this would be a fun one. Yeah, I read a bunch of random books. Like, the books I had, I had three books about Proust. I had the Victorian Cabinet cabinet, a cabinet. I had the Victorian cabinet maker book, which I got a long time ago. It's kind of like a memoir from a Victorian cabinet maker. And then I am the cat, which is like this big and 500 pages. And I'm like, I don't want to read that right now. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, I did realize on my grand calendar of things that I didn't take breaks between drafts. So now I am taking a break. Uh, a week break in between drafts and that's when I decided that I will write the song lyrics during those breaks. How is your novel writing going? I did like the write stuff treat chat last night and oh my people do not seem to be editing their novels or they aren't doing any like work on their night around my novel yet. Like oh my I'm already done like almost done with the second draft like I'm gonna be done with it next week. So I guess I'm hurrying along faster than they are. But that's okay, you know, everybody, it, it doesn't really matter how long it takes you, as long as you get it done, though it would be nice if it was quicker. And good. Quicker and good. Yes. Mm -hmm. I hope your writing is going well. Uh, be sure to watch. So sometime during the week of the 18th, I will be speaking of what I'm doing and what I changed and how I am moving on to my third draft and what I'm going to look for when I read that novel part. Of it. So if you want to make sure you don't miss on that, then please subscribe to my channel. Comment down below about how your writing is doing. I would love to hear about it and we can discuss and trade tips and all kinds of crazy jazz like that. Uh, so until next time, bye bye. <laughs>